Hey y'all, welcome back to the Pendry Home. Today we are gonna be decorating for Valentine's Day and taking down all of our winter decor. I'm so happy that you are here. And hey, if you're new, my name is Lakin. Thanks for joining me here today. So let's go ahead and get started and get decorating. So I'm just going to start by taking all of the snowflakes down and all of the little touches of winter decor that I had on the shelves, on the walls. I didn't really have that much, but I am going to keep some decor pieces still available so that way um, I can still use them to decorate with, especially the greenery because I'll still use some of the greenery and also um, like the lanterns and just a few more pieces I will keep just to add in pops of pink and red for Valentine's Day. It just makes it an easy transition if you already have some very simple and neutral decor pieces that you can just incorporate other touches of color to form that feel of the holiday that you're wanting. That's why I always gravitate towards neutral decor when I go shopping and everything because I know I can use it for multiple seasons and also greenery you can use for any season as well. That's why I love using it and incorporating it. But I also like to buy colored florals that I can use for the different seasons as well to go with the greenery and it just gives it a more fuller look. And you'll see how I change things out but also keep some of the same decor pieces as well. Y'all will notice that I use these paper heart doilies a lot in my Valentine's decor. These are so cheap and so easy to incorporate and they really make a statement. That's why I love them so much. Totally recommend getting these. If you did not see my Dollar Tree haul, that's where I got them. Um, the Dollar Tree had some really great finds this year for Valentine's Day and I literally could use these all over my house and I loved that they added the pops of color that I needed and they added the statement that I wanted for Valentine's Day as well. I'm also trying to add pink, white, and red to every area of my house. So I don't, I still to this day do not feel like I have enough red incorporated over here. So I don't know, I may still rearrange this spot and add more red, but I did add the little red felt heart stickers to the buckets and that added a lot. And then over here, I just played around with the grapevine hearts and I had some of that, um, it's kind of like pipe liner, but it's just a wired garland strand that's actually from Christmas. And I made these little hearts out of those and stuck them in the middle of the grapevine hearts. And I think that added the cute little pops of red and it, was, it just made it really cute as well. So always just challenge yourself to <laughs> incorporate and make things um, out of what you already have because I really was trying not to spend any more money but I'm still like torn about that one area with the picture, our wedding picture, about adding more red in there. So I may eventually go get something to add more red. I'm just not sure what yet. So now moving over here to these shelves, these were actually a whole lot easier to decorate for Valentine's Day than they were for my winter decor because I kind of used the same layout that I already had for um, my winter decor. And I just added this little truck here and then I added, it has greenery in the back of it, but I added some pink and red florals to it to make it pop for Valentine's Day. I changed out the white unity candles for some red candlesticks that I had around the house and I thought those made it really cute. And then on the big white candle, I actually added those little red felt stickers again. And you'll notice that with the little felt stickers, I added them everywhere. I just popped them on places. So those were also a really great find at Dollar Tree. And I could just add them onto multiple things to add pops of color and little hearts and stuff to make it more Valentine's Day. And then the roses that I'm using are from my wedding. Um, I went with all fake florals for my wedding, so that way I could keep them forever. And so these were some leftover florals from my wedding. And then, of course, the greenery. Again, the greenery is from Michael's. Um, I talked about that in my winter decor video. And then the flowers are actually from a online company called Ling's Moment. I absolutely love their florals and I recommend them if you're wanting something that looks real. And they are so beautiful and they are great quality and a great price. And I, again, totally recommend those. 
Over here, I'm just going to put these paper doolies around the clock. Um, kind of how I had the snowflakes, except this time it's going to be the hearts. The only thing is that I thought I wanted to do it like a different on each side, but then I ended up making it symmetrical on each side. And I think it turned out really, really cute and added like little pops of color that I wanted and all the hearts and all the love. And I just really like how this turned out. I've never decorated for Valentine's Day before, so this was actually a challenge for me, and I really, really enjoyed decorating for Valentine's Day this year, and I will definitely continue to do it because I really like how the house turned out. Now moving to this shelf, I'm just gonna add the little red tractor to the top. This actually was probably the easiest shelf to decorate. It's like I just knew what to put up there. Um, the little farm, jar thingy is from Dollar General. Those I got last year and then I'm just adding more pops of floral. And then the little um, sign that I'm going to be putting up here on this third shelf is from Dollar General as well and it was a dollar. Um, dollar General also had some really great dollar finds and I will be using some decor from there as well this year. For my little basket, I'm pretty much going to keep it the same setup as I had for winter decor. I'm just going to add in these little pink florals and some red flowers and add the love sign from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to stick some of those pink felt hearts onto the top of this lantern. And I think it turned out really, really cute. And then I did want something on the fireplace for Valentine's Day, so I decided to add, of course, the paper doilies. And I think they turned out absolutely precious, and I love how they look. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get my mess cleaned up because I had decor disaster over here and I needed to vacuum up the floor. There was glitter everywhere. There was little pieces of pine cone everywhere from the winter decor. And I really just wanted to get everything cleaned up so that way I had a clean space before I moved on to the next area. And that's just something I always like to do is clean as I go because if I don't then I get overwhelmed. And who else here gets overwhelmed when their house is a mess because whenever my my house is a mess I feel like everything's just a disaster like my life is just not put together so I like to clean as I go and I just kind of piled everything up into their containers move them over move my decor over to the next location that I'd be decorating and then I just straightened up and figured out how I wanted to do the couch and the throw pillows and the throw blankets and then I just vacuumed everything up and then obviously I needed to vacuum the couches because they had glitter everywhere and they just needed to be vacuumed anyway. So that's just what I'm doing now before I move over to the breakfast um, nook and the coffee bar. So now that it's all clean, I'm just going to play around with these throw pillows and throw blankets and get them how I want them. Um, the big white fluffy pillows came from Big Lots and the red pillow, I actually don't remember where I got it from, but I want to say it came from Marshalls maybe? I want to say that's how it was or where it came from. Um, and now I'm just going to move over to the breakfast nook area and I'm going to clean up around here, take some more winter pieces down and then I'll start incorporating the Valentine's Day decor. So you will see that these little red LED lights 
that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have played around with these a lot in this video. I didn't, I wanted to incorporate them somewhere. I just did not know where to put them. And finally, at the end of this video, you will see where I ended up putting them. I just, it took me the longest time to figure out where I wanted them. I really thought I wanted them on the coffee bar, but I ended up not liking how it looked. So I changed it. I played with these things so much, but I finally found the perfect place for them and I absolutely love where they are now. But I did play with them a lot. These little candy house items, the little two ones beside of the big like yellow cupcake, those came from Dollar General and they were actually from their outdoor collection. So you'll have to kind of dig to find them, but I did get them this year. They were only $2 a piece and they were really, really cute. So now I am going to do a little DIY for y'all. So this is actually a cocoa can from Christmas. We had hot cocoa here, we used it all. And I was like, I wanna save this can because I think I could probably make something out of it. So I decided to make a cute little just jar for Valentine's Day. Um, I kept it, I took off the paper and then I just kept it brown um, just because the brown kind of matched my aesthetic anyway. And then I used those heartfelt uh, stickers and I added two and then between them I put two egg, black X's with puffy paint. And then I'm just gonna decorate it with the puffy paint and make cute little designs and polka dots and everything. And I think it turned out really, really cute. Um, it was just a fun little DIY. With the white hearts, I ended up putting smaller pink felt hearts in the middle of them, and I really think that just added a statement. And it also incorporated all of the colors that I was using as well. But this was just really fun, really simple, and really, really cheap because I already had everything at the house. Um, and it's just fun to always recreate things with stuff that you already have. So my coffee bar actually, I think, took me the longest to decorate for some reason. Usually my coffee bar never takes me that long to decorate, but it did for the Valentine's decor for whatever reason. I did end up putting the White Houses back up there and I just stuck some red felt hearts on those as well to make them look like little Valentine's houses. And I think they turned out really cute as well. But I did just play around with this decor a lot. And on my little coffee can jar canister for the O, I ended up putting another one of those little red felt hearts in placement of the O, and I think that just added a cute little touch as well. So still playing with this, but for the canister that I made, I ended up adding a red rolling pin and a little like mixing spoon to it. And I thought it was really cute how it turned out as well. So now over here by the door, I'm just gonna add this little sign and it says, every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. And I thought this just added a sweet little touch for Valentine's Day. And then I'm gonna add that chalkboard heart to the little hook on my door. And I am gonna add a Bible verse on there. I just haven't writ that, written that yet. And then I'm just adding one of those paper doilies as well. And then over here on these shelves, I'm pretty much gonna keep the same decor and just add little pops of Valentine's Day as well. So now I'm just gonna move into the dining room and I'm just gonna play around with this little floral arrangement that I've made. The flowers again all came from my wedding and then the vase that I'm using, I'm pretty sure it came from Dollar Tree but it came like from years and years ago. I've had that since I was a kid, like it was in my bedroom at my parents' house like when I was little. Um, but yeah, I just added the little tray and then some little wooden pieces and of course my little pigs. And now moving over here to the bench, um, I played around with this basket and how it looks is not how I ended up like having it. Um, I've already changed it. And then I played around with these lights again and decided that I did not want them over here until I finally found the perfect place, which y'all will see here in a little bit. But I did play around with this bench a little bit more and um, y'all will see how I 
have it now because I've already um, changed it. As usual, I change a lot of things. Um, and then after I kind of play around with this bench, I'm gonna move over to the china cabinet and I am going to just remove some of those winter touches and then I'll start incorporating some Valentine's Day. It was really easy because I just took these paper doilies and I placed them in front of the plates. So I did the smaller pink hearts on the like middle shelf and then I did the big red hearts on the top shelf and then I added some white hearts to the windows. I kept the little turtle doves and then I just incorporated some of those roses um, from my wedding and I just made it really really cute. I did end up putting this little like truck thingy which y'all will see at the end of this video um, on the hutch as well and I did that after I filmed this again I always am like going around and tweaking things I don't know does anybody else do that like you decorate but then you just go tweak things that's what I do I'll, I'll tweak things around but yeah this turned out really really cute as well Ah uh, yes, finally, sweet relief. I found a place for these little heart lights and I just added them into the greenery above my hutch cabinet. And I think they turned out so, so cute. And I'm so happy I finally found a place for them. But now I have a mess here in the dining room. So I'm just gonna quickly clean all of this up and get this place vacuumed and get everything back into shape. And I am finally done decorating for Valentine's Day. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed decorating with me and are inspired to decorate for Valentine's Day. It was a lot of fun. And don't forget to subscribe, comment down below for any future video recommendations, and don't forget to like this video as well. I hope y'all will join me back next week for more homemaking videos. Bye y'all.